Hello and welcome to the CATIA Finite Element Analysis Setup Tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to set up a finite element analysis to run inside CATIA. So what is a finite element analysis? Well FEA is analysis that breaks down a part or an assembly into small pieces to form a mesh of elements. The computer then runs analysis on each element to determine the effects of an applied force on the structure as a whole. The end result is an understanding of how complex structures react to a particular loading configuration. In CATIA there are four things you have to apply in order to run an FEA. You have to apply a material, apply restraints, apply a force, and then finally apply a mesh. So for this example I'm going to use a simply supported beam. This beam is made of steel. It is one inch wide, two inches tall, and eight feet long. If a 120 pound per foot load is applied along the entire length of the beam, what is the maximum deflection? I've already modeled this inside CATIA, and so here's our beam. Now we need to apply a material to this beam. So select the Apply Material button, and then go over to Metal, and scroll down to Steel. Select Steel, select the part, and hit OK. Now if we expand the design tree, we see that Steel has now been applied. So if we double click Steel, we can see the material properties. Go to Analysis, and here are the structural properties. So we're going to make Young's modulus be 30 times 10 to the 6th BSI. It accepts it. Now hit OK. Now we can enter the Structural Analysis Workbench. This is the FEA workbench in CATIA. Hit OK. And now our parts inside the workbench. The first thing we need to do is apply a restraint to this structure. So we can see in our problem statement we have a fixed end and then a free rolling end. So do that in CATIA. We're going to apply a clamp to one end and do that select the clamp tool and then select this bottom edge hit OK and come over to the other edge and we want a user-defined restraint select the bottom edge and if we select display locally it'll show us what numbers correspond to what directions on the part so we do not want a restraint in one and we do not want any rotational restraints and now we have our rolling end hit OK and now we have our restraints. Next thing we have to do is apply a force. To do that we're going to use a surface force density. Now select the top face of the part and we want this to be a 120 pound per foot force. So that corresponds to a 10 psi force on our part. Now we see these arrows they're pointing up we want a force pushing down, so we add a negative sign. Hit OK. And now we have our force applied to our part. The last thing we can do before we run an analysis is we have to adjust the mesh. So we can see we have a couple symbols here. This represents our element size in our mesh. And this is too big for our part, so double click that and we can modify our mesh. So I'm going to make the mesh size half an inch and our absolute sag to be half of that, so a quarter inch. And now our element size has been changed and we can hit OK. To actually see what our mesh looks like, we right click nodes and elements and select mesh visualization. It says that the mesh needs to be recomputed, that's OK and our part changes color. We can't actually see the mesh because our viewing mode is not correct. So change the viewing mode to display with edges and now we can actually see our mesh. 
And with that, we conclude the FEA analysis setup tutorial.